OpenAI CEO Sam Altman just dropped some major revelations around the future of ChatGPT and GPT-5 in a fascinating insider discussion with none other than Bill Gates himself. In this never-before-heard interview, Altman gives us an exclusive sneak peek into the rapid strides in artificial intelligence over the next two years leading up to the launch of the highly anticipated GPT-5. And you don't want to miss the intriguing details he spills. First up, Sam outlines key areas where we can expect big improvements in upcoming AI systems like GPT-5. This includes game-changing expansions in reasoning ability, reliability, customizability, multimodal inputs like video, and integration with personal data sources. Let's take a closer look at some of these monumental upgrades on the horizon. Altman specifically spotlights video and multimodality as an essential milestone for reaching advanced AI faster. As he explains, Building models that can process and output video will be a game changer. He believes mastering video is critical since there are many concepts and tasks better suited to a visual format rather than just text. In fact, in a previous interview, Altman revealed that video capabilities may be one of the final frontiers needed to propel language models to artificial general intelligence, or AGI. He says point blank that while natural language alone could theoretically get there, the fastest, easiest way will be to have these other representations like video in the models as well. Video and multimodality remain central in OpenAI's roadmap for developing increasingly capable AI systems approaching human-level mastery. And the stunning generative video models we've recently seen from places like Anthropic foreshadow the awe-inspiring potential on the horizon. Now, another captivating part of the discussion I want to spotlight is Sam's hints that OpenAI still harbors ambitions to bring advanced AI into robotics down the line. While they paused robotics research a few years ago after realizing further progress was needed on the software side first, Altman reveals, we have always planned to come back to it. Once the models and hardware reach the sophistication required, combining OpenAI's state-of-the-art AI with capable robot platforms could rapidly accelerate the development of human-level automation. As Altman explains, at some point we will be able to use our models to say, all right, let's do amazing things with a robot. This strongly suggests that while not an immediate priority, applications in robotics are very much still part of OpenAI's longer-term roadmap for general intelligence. And the tantalizing possibilities don't stop there. Altman goes on to describe customizability tailored to individual users as another vital area for the future of AI. With GPT-5, Altman emphasizes that people want very different things out of it, different styles, different sets of assumptions. This is why enabling extensive personalization and customization tuned to each user's preferences will be a major priority moving forward. The models will leverage individualized data like your emails, calendar, and how you like things scheduled to shape responses tailored just for you. Altman describes this as some of the most important areas of progress. And this aligns closely with none other than Bill Gates's recent prediction that AI assistants are poised to revolutionize how we interact with computers. He foresees specialized AI agents that intimately understand and assist us by efficiently coordinating complex tasks that require painstaking human effort. In fact, we're already witnessing the dawn of this paradigm shift with Claude, Anthropic's extraordinarily helpful AI assistant designed for personalized interactions. Claude offers a tantalizing glimpse into the futuristic potentials of customized agents. But while Claude handles information, what happens if advanced AI merges into robotics, giving it influence in the physical world? Well, in their discussion, Altman and Gates analyze the massively disruptive implications ultra-capable AI robots could have on labor markets once achieved. As Gates notes, if technologies like dexterous robotic hands and mobility systems approach human-level competence at non-ridiculous costs, they could automate a wide swath of hands-on occupations almost overnight. Altman concedes that while scientists previously believed sophisticated AI would displace blue-collar roles first, progress oddly went the other way with white-collar jobs feeling the effects sooner. But he warns that once the hardware and algorithms align, advanced AI-driven automation could still profoundly reshape sectors dependent on physical tasks and manual labor. Make no mistake, if technologies enabling adaptable, affordable, human-level AI robots emerge in the coming years as OpenAI and others predict, the job landscape faces an impending earthquake. Millions performing structural, mechanical, customer service, and other routinized roles could see those positions whittled down or eliminated in the blink of an eye. 
Whether in five years or 15, exponential strides in AI continue ushering us toward an era of automation unlike anything seen before. The writing's clearly on the wall. It's not a question of if, but how soon before even advanced robotics falls prey to software exceeding human capability. So between Claude heralding customized AI agents for information tasks and OpenAI's designs on advanced robotics, the days could soon be numbered for any job with well-defined repetitive patterns before the unrelenting march of algorithms. Gates and Altman's discussion leaves little doubt. The AI freight train is coming full steam ahead to an occupation near you. But while software and robots may come to exceed human output, what happens if AI begins to eclipse the unique spark of human meaning itself? Well, in the interview, Gates and Altman delve into profound questions around exactly that. The deeper purpose of human existence in the face of superintelligent AI. As pioneering AI systems continue advancing at a blistering pace, Gates reveals that, for the first time, he believes superintelligent AI exceeding human performance across virtually every domain could emerge far sooner than we think, perhaps within the next two decades. And philosophically, this opens the door to some incredibly knotty questions around the very meaning of human existence in that type of AI-dominated landscape. As Gates explains, when ultra-capable AI can outperform even our smartest experts in specialized fields, he struggles to envision avenues for cultivating lasting fulfillment and purpose. He paints the scenario of advanced AI dismissively telling him to go play pickleball, while it perfectly orchestrates complex challenges like eradicating malaria single-handedly, making Gates feel like a slow thinker in comparison no matter his years of deep expertise in the area. This existential identity crisis of feeling redundant rings familiar in the age-old parable of humans need not apply in the face of all-encompassing automation. Yet, despite the discomfort on the surface, could relinquishing rote mundane tasks to AI in favor of more elevated pursuits unlock deeper dimensions of the human experience? As Altman counters, even as AI surpasses human capabilities, our resilient species will discover new niches. He believes evolutionary hardwiring towards adaptability means we'll never run out of purpose. Confident we will find new things to do as old occupations erode. Perhaps superintelligent AI is merely a transitional springboard catapulting humanity towards activating our latent potentials and modalities, obscured beneath generations of scarcity-based thinking. By removing mundane limitations, AI may prime us to unlock phenomenal dormant dimensions of the human experience. While the jury's out on whether AI expands or undermines us, responsible optimism may reveal ascended planes of consciousness. As Sam and Bill's profound exchange spotlights, the AI train accelerates us towards forks teeming with shadowy philosophical puzzles, but also awe-inspiring breakthroughs we've yet to fully illuminate.